Hi guys, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Not too long ago, I made a little video listing out my favorite cottage core, full core, forest core villagers. So today, since the season has changed, I figured it would be pretty fitting to make a similar list regarding my favorite winter and Christmas core villagers. So these are obviously just my suggestions or a little inspo. If you are maybe making a winter themed island and you're wondering which villagers you could potentially invite. So today's video is going to be kind of like my top 10 villager list on if I would hypothetically make Make a winter core island. Plus, I have a few bonus villagers to throw in there. But as I always like to say, you know, it's your island, you can invite whoever you want. And it's always nice to kind of like mix and match different themes and just invite whoever you find cutest or most fitting. And any villager can always fit any theme if you give them like a matching outfit or something like that. But yeah, it's always fun to kind of theorize like. If I would make a winter island, who would I invite to? You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, today's video is all in good fun. And definitely, if you're making a winter core island, you don't have to invite any of these villagers. But yeah, this is just like a little bit of inspo. A little bit of like, these kind of villagers are out there. Usually, when I make these lists, I look at the villager houses, like how their exteriors, maybe interiors look like, maybe their species, and obviously how they kind of look like. So I'm looking for maybe mainly like white colors, snowy, a little bit icy blues. Yeah, so that's a little bit like how I make these lists. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Look at that balloon. Bye. <laughs> So at number 10, I have Wade. I'm sure it's pretty obvious that there is going to be a lot of penguin villagers on this list. I think pretty much all of them will make like a really good winter core villager for obvious reasons. But for example, if you check Wade's house over here, it's very wintry. And anyways, he's such a cutie. I don't think he needs a lot of explanation why he makes such a such a good winter villager. He is also pretty underrated, I think. Like, I don't see a lot of people talking about Wade. And he's such a cutie. At number nine, I have Fang. He is the perfect wintry wolf, even though he is not the only wolf on the list. And I think his name in Japanese is Siberia. So <laughs> what better winter villager? He also has a very cozy house. Obviously, if if you do have the Animal Crossing DLC, you can change your villager house exteriors how you want them. But especially if you don't have the DLC or you kind of want a house that matches like a winter scenery, I think he has a pretty good winter house. <laughs> Fang is pretty awesome. Okay, so even though I could obviously just make this winter villager list out of penguins and wolves, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And at number eight, I put Biang. Bianca. Bianca is probably one of those villagers that I wouldn't necessarily invite to my island unless if I was making a winter core island. I mean, she looks super snowy, so I think for this theme she looks pretty perfect or she fits pretty perfectly. And I like how here on Animal Crossing Wiki it says that her Japanese name refers to powdered snow, so I think that makes her a pretty good winter core villager. But yeah, personally I'm not like a huge fan of the type villagers, you know, like, I think they could have been designed a bit better. But yeah, like if you want to mix things up a little bit, not only invite penguins to your island, Bianca might be a pretty good option. And can you make a winter themed island without Puck? He is literally like the ice hockey player that you need on your island, especially if you're gonna do like an icy pond build or something, you definitely need Puck on your island. And of course, especially his interior is very wintry. Outside, maybe not that much, but I think his outside kind of suits his, his character design pretty well. But yeah, obviously, another penguin. Does that need any explanation why it suits a winter theme very well? <laughs> and I think his catchphrase is brrrr. So... 
what better for a winter island, huh? Okay, so Aurora, I could have easily put her at number one. She is probably one of my favorite penguin villagers. <laughs> but yeah, as I think I mentioned in the forest core video, it is pretty difficult to put these villagers in order, especially the closer you get to number one. So I think like villagers from six to one are kind of sharing like the number one spot all together because I think they all make for such awesome Christmas core, winter core villagers. And Aurora is such a mega cutie. I don't think she needs much of an explanation why she is on this list. Like, look at her little winter sweater. She's literally perfect. And obviously, like, if you want to make it really easy for yourself, you can just make an all penguin island for your winter island. <laughs> But yeah, Aurora is such a cutie. Like, I really want to invite her to my island one day. Winter core or not. Obviously, I could not make this list without Diana. I think she's also, like, such a perfect winter queen. She kind of reminds me, like, especially if you're doing some sort of mythical wintery theme or, like, an ice queen kind of situation. She's perfect. She's perfect anyways. I love her. I've had her on my island before. But I don't think you can make a winter island with Without Diana and her house is just perfect. She is perfect. What else is there to say? <laughs> At number four we have Whitney and I think even though Fang is a perfect wintry villager I think Whitney wins because see, she's also the perfect like ice queen, snow queen. She's like a snow wolf and yeah I think you just have to invite her to your island if you're making any sort of winter theme. Look at those icy eyes. She literally looks like an ice cone or what is these things that like drip down your roof? Like these icy spikes? Ice spikes? I don't- I have no idea what they are. <laughs> I also really like her interior. Uh, well, interior as well, but the exterior of her house. I think it would look beautiful in a wintry, snowy scenery. And I think it's really funny that her name is actually Bianca in Japanese. At number three, we have the cutie patootie Chabwick. Live love lasagna. He kind of looks like a hockey player as well. And I find it so funny that it on this photo on Animal Crossing Wiki, he's like eating an ice lolly. So perfect. He also has this icy interior design in, in his default house. And I think even if you're not making a winter island, he's such a cutie and you need him in, in your life. Well, the top two will not disappoint, obviously. I mean, Flurry could be number one as well because she's literally snow herself or I don't know, she's like an ice cream, like McFlurry. <laughs> Definitely need Flurry on your island. She will just like camouflage into the snow perfectly. And her house exterior is also pretty perfect. I love the contrast of the, the icy blue with the white. Even though maybe the interior could need a bit of a makeover. But you know, you can always get HHP for that. And as our top tier winter villager, we have, of course, Sprinkle. <laughs> she looks like an icy swirl. Or yeah, like frosting on a cake. I mean, she's a pretty popular villager, but... For pretty obvious reasons, she makes a perfect winter core village. She screams winter core at you. And I find it really cute that her Japanese name is Frappe. I guess that's her catchphrase in, in English. Oh, she's so cute. I kind of want to make a winter core island now. Anyways, I have a few bonus villagers and you might be thinking like, where are these villagers? Why did I not include them to my list? But as a bonus villager, I obviously have Eric. He is pretty freaking perfect for a Christmas core island, especially. I mean, for winter core as well. I think he also has a very wintry interior in his house. But obviously because I had Eric on my forest core list as well. Did I? I hope I did. If I didn't, I was saving him for the winter villager list <laughs> because I think he actually makes for a better winter core villager, but obviously he's very cottage core, forest, fall core, whatever. I mean, for me, when I say forest core, I mean cottage core and fall core because I think those themes are pretty much the same. But other picks that I have for you are Hans, Flo, Chevre, and Shino. They all obviously have, except Flo, very neutral tone 
stones, whites, and stuff like that. Hans is obviously like the, the big foot, isn't he? <laughs> so Hans is pretty perfect. I kind of wanted to have him in the top 10, but you guys know that me and Hans have a little bit of beef from my last island. But yeah, these are some bonus villagers that you can also consider for your theme, especially if you're having a hard time villager hunting and you need like a couple of extra suggestions. But yeah, that wraps up my short and sweet winter core villager list for you. Did I forget about someone who is your favorite winter core villager? And let me know if you're making a winter core island or Christmas core or something like that. I would love to know who are you inviting to your island? And yeah, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me here for a little bit for this silly little winter core villager list. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel if you wish to do so, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye! kind of really want to make a Christmas core island now. Maybe next year. I have to do it one day. Anyways, I'll see you soon, guys.